Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add closed captions onto YouTube videos. So the first step is to create an audio file from that video recording that you've placed on YouTube. There are free converters out there and I like to use one called Free Video Converter. I do strongly recommend you to be cautious when downloading freeware of course. Um, the audio recording that you've obtained from the video itself is going to match what you've loaded onto YouTube so when it comes to the timing that we need to have for these closed captions to be added you know that it's going to be uh, perfectly in alignment. The second step is to make a transcript of all of the spoken words from the mp3 file. Trust me this is a good idea because it's going to allow you before you start looking at closed captioning to work out how many words you want to appear on the screen and kind of do some editing before you start considering this closed caption text file itself. Uh, there is freeware available to listen to these audio files and I like to use WavePad. It's easy to stop, start and replay uh, when you're putting together all of the words that you want to use for your um, closed captions. So the third step is to create this closed caption document. Importantly, it has to be saved as a, as a text file, so .txt is going to be the subscript. Uh, and there is a very specific way in which the text has to be entered. Here is an example. So in the first line, it's going to have the number one, which means that it's the first closed caption that's going to appear. And then it's the start time to the end time. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to start at 2 comma 0 1. That means 2 and 1 one hundredth of a second into this YouTube podcast. And then it's going to start at 5 and a half seconds. During that span of time, the closed caption is just going to say, hello, today I'm going to talk about p-values. The next closed caption is going to start 1 one hundredth of a second later at 5 comma 5 1. That means uh, like 5.51 seconds into it. And it's going to last about four seconds and it's going to say a p-value has to be between 0 and 1. So for the entire video, as, as long as you want these words to appear, all that you need is the number, the start time and end time, and the text, what you want uh, YouTube to actually appear on the screen. So it's kind of like bunches of threes with a space, so uh, the three lines and then a space, and then the next closed caption information, and then a space, and then you just keep doing that uh, for as long as you want these closed captions to appear. Of course, they don't have to appear one one hundredth of a second later. You could use any start and end times that you so desire. The fourth step is to save this closed caption file. As I said, you've got to save it as a text file, and there's no beginning or end commands. It's just exactly as you saw it on the previous slide with that information. The fifth step, you want to upload it onto YouTube. So go to YouTube where you've uploaded this video, choose Edit Video, select Captions and Subtitles, and then load it, uh, give it a name. I like to call it English if it's going to be in the English language, and YouTube will actually start playing it. And it's a good idea to watch it all the way through just to see if you can catch any typographical errors or any other uh, mistakes that you may have made when you were creating this original closed caption file. So I hope this has been useful.